Hey there, this is K4A Knowledge for All Educational Videos and Tutorials. Today I will try to explain you how and uh, when you can use GML Visual block which is called Get Instance Variable. Uh, in the previous video we have learned how to use the Set Instance Variable but uh, that's not all. You can change and set the values of your instances uh, of your instance variables in games uh, as much as you like but sometimes you have to pull that information which you have changed and use it so uh, the one thing is to set it to change it but the other thing is to pull that information from game maker to get it uh, that's what get mostly means in uh, these kind of game engines so uh, in a previous video I have uh, shown a couple of examples which um, I will probably not use in my game uh, but uh, um, just as uh, simple examples uh, and today also um, uh, let me try to use this uh, get instance variable for uh, my obj player and in uh, for example um, uh, some other kind of um, features so for example um, uh, when i play my game uh, my um, white square player can move left right up and down that's all cool uh, collect coins and so on but for example uh, my game designer on my team on my company wherever he wants to see uh, the uh, coordinates of x and y uh, and uh, for my player because uh, i don't know it's maybe pixel perfect day game or uh, uh, when my player goes uh, 50 pixels near to the left edge something will happen and uh, 50 pixels to the right edge something else will happen and so on and so on so imagine it just you have some kind of uh, need for uh, your game to define and to see uh, where on the screen in x and y coordinates your player is and you have to do that for your game designer and testing purposes so uh, um, i will uh, use it uh, i will use my obj player okay that's all cool and uh, i want that to show all the time on the screen so i don't want to say uh, to um, be visible only, only uh, once like my player is here so my x and y are uh, here 160 oh, that's okay but i want it to be uh, like interactive uh, like uh, real time all uh, i want to see like x and y changing on the screen while i move like uh, interactively all the time in real time so uh, that means I will have to use my step event. If I use my create event, it will only uh, do it once. It will show X and Y when my game starts. We can try that just to show. But other than that, uh, nothing will happen. But step event, uh, that event runs uh, frames per second. So it goes 30, 60 or 120 frames uh, times per seconds uh, and uh, that is crazy that is intensive but for this purpose uh, it will uh, be good enough and uh, we will use it only for testing we can delete this code later okay so what do i have to do i, I need to find instances okay instance blocks uh, here they are and i need to find this get instance variable so i don't want to set it you can set ops uh you can set it um, like for example we uh, we did that in a previous video like set um, my player to start the game on zero zero i don't need that okay i will delete it 
what do I need uh, here? I need to get the instance variable. So, as I said before, all of those variables all are already predefined by GameMaker Studio. GameMaker programmers did that uh, for us, so we don't have to do it ourselves. Uh, thank you for that. But um, that's also that also means that uh, they are somehow stored already in GameMaker and. Um, uh, when you need them, you can get them, you can pull them. So you can say, okay, I need my X and Y coordinates, give it to me, get them for me. So that's what we are going to do that today. Get the instance variable, which one? X coordinate, great. Uh, where do, uh, GameMaker now asks me, where do you want to put that variable, uh, uh, sorry, that value uh, for X. I can give you the x the x coordinate, but where do you want me to store it? So I will say store it in var uh, var underscore uh, c o o r d uh, x. So var cord x is short for um, a variable coordinate. X and that's how I, I um, named, it, named it. You don't have to do it yourself if you don't like it or you uh, have some kind of better solution. So, for example, you can name it position uh, X or with uh, B, uh, capital letters and so on. So you, you uh, just don't um, just don't make blank spaces. That's not allowed. You either have to use underscores or letters and numbers but without empty space okay so um, cool I have this get instance variable and uh, I have now that value uh, but where is that value I don't have it on the screen right because um, when I start my game uh, game maker doesn't care he pulled that value for me okay you need the x coordinate value great i will give it to you where do you want it i want it in my variable coordinate x okay i will put it there and so uh what now nothing nothing happens why because uh we never said uh, to game maker what to do next uh, how to use that variable and how to show it on the screen uh, so we did that before with uh, this um uh obj um, no sorry we haven't used draw here but we have used it maybe uh for some other i think for yeah for game manager uh draw values okay so we know that we know how to use that block that's what i wanted to check uh okay so i need a draw event uh, because I want to draw my X and Y coordinates on the screen so uh, click on add event uh, draw pick the draw just simple draw not any of those others and uh, click uh, and find draw value block so draw value okay draw value and what do i want to draw here i want to draw oops i want to i want to say okay uh give me uh no i will leave it like that this is just to show you but i need to say what do i want to draw on the screen i want to draw this var coordinate x uh, the instance variable which we have pulled get from game maker so that will be the value and i want that to show uh where on the screen uh, let me see here with game manager um yeah we have used score health uh, those values are already drawn on the screen so i have to go yeah i will go relative to the i will try like that relative to the uh, player uh, yeah two things uh, first of all I have forgot forgot to add this draw self 
I you saw how there was no player on the screen I need to click and drag this draw cell because when you add this draw event that uh, event uh, overrides the previous uh, drawing of the your image uh, sprite for your object so you have to say it again okay draw myself I know it sounds crazy but uh, that's how game maker works and it actually makes sense uh, but we will talk about it later on in some other video okay so uh, now I will see my uh, white circle player draw self on the screen okay and I need to pull this uh, a little bit to the bottom so let, let's go with 64 to the y that means um, go uh, go down okay maybe a little bit less 50 and you saw how it says caption that's default uh, uh, name I want to change that into X chord uh, okay and I want to yeah now it should look good uh, the whole idea here is to show the interactive change of my uh, player. So you see how uh, X chord value changes here with me going left and right, and now it's oops, now it's yeah, I cannot go to the zero because it wraps around to the left uh, yeah it was for a second so it's four and now when i press the right arrow it will rise up so it's all the way to uh, 800 almost okay so i cannot see it here uh so maybe i will push it a little bit no i, I don't want i will leave it like this um and for example i need to and i will finish with that uh, my game designer says okay that was for X position but you need to uh, give me the Y, y, y coordinates also so uh, I will just copy this one copy get instance variable paste it but instead of um, instead of this X coordinate I will now find the y coordinate and I will make the not, uh, another variable which I will call, call var chord y instead of x and I will copy that value that name sorry I will go to draw copy draw value paste and now paste the values for uh, variable and change the caption to y coordinate uh, or maybe just y to be shorter and simpler and this top will be x and if I leave it like this they will uh, mm, draw on top of each other so let's see that why because I have used this 50 that uh, this x and y uh, fields in draw value that uh, field defined defines where do you want your text to show up on the screen I check this relative because I want my text to be relative to my player uh, so it will follow the player all the time but because I have left the 50 for both you can see now how they uh, overlap overlap like one on top of each other and you can see uh, that's really messy I don't want that so I will push this uh, second value y cor uh, var coordinate y a little bit below like maybe 70 75 and now I should see both of my uh, yeah it looks really nice I see how both of my values change now when I go up and down my y coordinate changes and I can see and my for example my game designer now now can see precisely okay I can go here to 60 and write down 
uh, here maybe 264 for the Y, 132 for the X and so on. So he can use that uh, for um, uh, some kind of tool like uh, helping him for uh, defining the rules for the game and so on. So um, uh, what I wanted to show here is that you can use this uh, get instance variable blocks to make some kind of uh, debugging tools or uh, uh, helpers for your game or something like that you don't have to use them all the time like we have used them in a, a previous video with this uh, set instance variable on coins and so on so to change values but you can use them to just show the values on the screen get it and then when you get it uh, first you need to get the value with get instance variable when, when you get it store it in some kind of variable and then draw it on the screen and that's how for example you can have a very simple way to show the x and y coordinates on the screen or whatever you need i could pull every um, instance variable which is already defined for me by game maker so for example i could pull my speed direction or whatever so for example if i used instead uh, of x and y if i use my speed and, uh, and now game designer can see uh, and when he changes the speed interactively in the game uh, how uh, it feels and then uh, write down and change the game design and so on um, uh, again it depends on uh, how big or complex your game is and what uh, you are making maybe you won't need any of those uh, last blocks which we have explained and see in action but uh, uh, they exist they exist in game makers so uh, if you need them use them if you don't need them don't use them it's simple as that uh, that's it for this video bye for now and see you in the uh, next one